Hey guys, how are you? This is Mr. Argetta coming to you uh, for our first week. This is my introduction video. I wanted to uh, put something out there since I, I guess, make you guys introduce yourself in our discussion. So I figured it'd just be right for me to um, give you my own introduction and let you know who I am. As you know, I'll be uh, the instructor. So first of all, I am using this video in three courses that I'll be teaching during the summer. So if you just happen for some reason to be in the introduction to business course or operations production management course, then you will see this introduction uh, to possibly three times. I doubt that if you're taking production management, you'll be doing principles or intro, but there is a possibility that you have signed up for principles of management and introduction of business at the same time. Um, for the people in those two classes, production is a, a specialization uh, for operation management, so the people in that course is a little unique. Anyhow, that said, as I mentioned, my name is Mr. Argetta. I uh, have the privilege of working with you through the summer semester. I'm excited about it, excited to get to know you guys through our discussions, as I've already alluded to in other videos. This Discussions are extremely important in my class, so make sure you take the time to put effort into putting that together. All right, anyhow, enough of that. Let me tell you who I am. So, originally from Chicago, I was born and raised in Chicago, as you probably can tell from no southern accent, and I say you guys instead of saying y'all. Um, yes, grew up with great and amazing pizza. It's wonderful to eat pizza in Chicago. It is a, um, a different experience than what you guys are used to here. Um, it's sad. Uh, to say that what you guys have here is nothing resembling what pizza actually is. By the way, I'm not talking about the deep dish pizza in Chicago. That is a tourist sort of thing. Uh, I am talking about regular thin crust pizza. Um, I don't know what it is with the cheese combination that they use up there or the um, maybe the uh, sauce and the sausage. It's got like a fennel seed in it. It's Anyhow, if you're ever in Chicago, please go out and get yourself a pizza. Uh, Rosati's um, is a popular brand out there. I go to a local pizzeria owned by an Italian family, been there forever in, in the side of the city that I live in. Uh, I live in the uh, Elmwood Park, Oak Park, Galewood area of, um, of Chicago, and uh, my parents still live there. My mom still lives there. My dad's uh, passed since uh, a year ago, but I, I still uh, go up there frequently. I'll be there actually in, in July. Um, but anyhow, born and raised there, came here about 12 years ago, brought my family here, my wife and my two kids. Um, I started my educational career in Chicago at a college called Northeastern uh, University, and then uh, started a few businesses, uh, one of them being a golf business. I uh, started off as a golf manufacturing moved into would we be golf distribution uh we got rid of that and then moved into real estate uh we did a lot of real estate my wife and i did some real estate uh businesses uh and then we moved into the tech world um and in about 2010 we decided to uh get you know slow down our lifestyles raise our kids here so we have no family that lives in georgia no friends that came from chicago we uh, packed our bags and moved our family here and raised our two kids here in the Calhoun area. Um, it's been a great adventure. My kids uh, went to Sonoraville. Both of them since have graduated. My daughter then pursued a degree in education uh, from UGA. She graduated in December of 23 uh, and now is working at a school in the Athens area. So she's still out there. Uh, very, very proud of her. My wife as well is a teacher. So we have three educators in the family. Family. As you know, I teach here. My wife teaches in a uh, school here in Dalton. We both work in the Dalton area. My office is in the Dalton campus. Uh, my wife is a fourth grade teacher. My daughter is a kindergarten teacher this year. Uh, so two elementary school educators and, and myself. And then my son is at Barry in Rome, and he's about three semesters away from graduating with his undergrad, and then he goes to grad school to become a PA, which is a physician assistant in the medical field. Uh, that's been sort of what he's been uh, going for and kind of knew that for, for some time. Um, 
what else can I tell you about us? We love to be out and about. Uh, I always tell people, although I live in Calhoun, I usually just sleep there. I spend most of my time out and about either in, I have some, uh, I do a lot of corporate trainings for uh, the college as well and the economic development side of things and uh, do a lot of Rome. Recently been a lot in Rome, uh, been, uh, you know, doing some trainings out there and then uh, spend a lot of time here in Dalton. This is where my wife works. This is where I work. We work out here. I go to Bradley here in, in Dalton. My wife goes kickboxing here in Dalton. So uh, we spend a lot of time here. We eat a lot. Of, we, we love food. So we eat a lot uh, in different places. We love to try new foods, new cultures. We love to learn about cultures through their food and, and, uh, and uh, different aspects of it. Um, we enjoy traveling a lot. We recently got back from Greece. Uh, my wife and my daughter and I um, in spring break went out to Greece and had a wonderful time. Uh, we hopped from one island to the other one to Santorini and then to Crete and we're in Athens, Greece for a little bit. Amazing food, amazing people, great place to travel to. Um, uh, and then I, as I mentioned in July, I'll be going up to Chicago. I visit my family about two, three times a year. So we get up to Chicago a lot, both uh, uh, my wife's family was from Chicago. Now they moved to Florida. They live in the Tampa area, but her uh, mother and stepfather, uh, her stepfather was from Honduras and they bought a coffee farm in their retirement years and they're now have a coffee farm. My wife will be visiting them in Honduras in the upcoming months. Um, we go to Chicago in July and then mid-July we go to a friend's wedding in San Francisco. Uh, my wife will then be in Honduras, and then my son and I will be doing a backpack trip uh, to Europe in August. So um, most of August, we'll be traveling in Europe with my son, uh, Paris, Belgium, uh, Spain, Amsterdam, Germany. Uh, hopefully, we'll hit up Switzerland. He wants to go to Prague. Uh, so we'll be doing a lot of traveling in that area for uh, about three weeks. Um, but as I mentioned, we love food, we love uh, culture, we love learning about different people uh, and their, their life and their cultures. I am, uh, my parents, I should say, are originally from Guatemala, which is in Central America. Um, they came to Chicago in the 70s, and then I was the first born uh, American Guatemalan. Uh, so I was an American. Of course, my culture is Guatemalan um, for our family. Uh, since then, all my family has has basically relocated to the Chicagoland area. Uh, so most of our uh, cousins and uncles, aunts, they all live somewhere within that Chicagoland area. Uh, we're starting to see the next generations kind of spread out throughout the United States. Um, but yeah, that's um, my wife is of Puerto Rican descent. Uh, her mom was born in Puerto Rico, but she was born and raised in Chicago. That's where we met. That's where we got married. That's where we had our children and came down to Georgia. Uh, what else can I tell you? We love to be outdoors. We love to go out hiking when we can. We love to explore different areas and different communities. As I mentioned, uh, we love trying new food. So any food recommendations? Give it to me. I'm interested. Um, I do. I do travel a lot of this northwest area, uh, so in and out of these areas for work purposes. Uh, usually training companies or conducting trainings, and of course my, you know, my full time job essentially is teaching these classes. So um, that's a little bit about me. Uh, I love coffee. That you'll get to know that very quickly. I love coffee. Um, this morning I'll be drinking. This is the Starbucks Sumatra blend, and this is for the Nespresso, which is, let's see, where am I going? That machine. Let's see if I can get you a better view of that. Yeah, that machine right there. Not the Keurig, but the one right next to the Keurig, this one. Um, they're little capsules, um, but essentially they have a very good, powerful brew. They look like this. Anyhow. Uh, enjoy cappuccinos, lattes, but my favorite is a, a double shot of espresso right in the afternoon. Um, my daughter and I have this thing going where she buys me cups because she knows how much I love coffee. This is, uh, she spent some time, she studied abroad in Italy, and she brought me back this little double shot, espresso shot. It's really a small cup. Um, uh, and then when we're in Greece, we got that one. And then I am a huge, huge fan of The Office. 
if anyone watched that show, uh, the world's best boss cup. My handle broke off of it, so hopefully my daughter gets the clues that I've been hinting uh, and texting her that I need a new cup. But other than that, um, you know, uh, here's one from Cuba, brought for Cuban coffee. Uh, but anyhow, that's uh, sort of sort of what I do. I love coffee. I enjoy food. Uh, we're from Chicago. Love pizza. Love Chicago food. Italian beefs, hot dogs, all the n normal Chicago fare. Uh, if you guys ever go to Chicago and need recommendations on restaurants, I'll be more than happy to shoot you a, a message. Uh, let me know. I'll be happy to tell you all the good spots out there and what to avoid, especially what to avoid. Um, that's it. I'm uh, like I said. I'm, my parents were from Guatemala, so I'm a Guatemalan culture. So I'm an American Guatemalan, American Latino. Uh, very proud of my heritage. I'm very excited to share that with anybody. Uh, I do a lot of trainings on diversity and leadership and work, diverse work environments. So uh, that's a topic that I've been uh, studying and researching for a while now, and I'd love to share and talk about that. Uh, but that's it. That's me in a 10, 11 minute video. Um, excited to hear about you want to get to know you want to know who you are and um, you know why you're here what you're doing here and all your background story so share some stuff with us uh, I'll be posting these videos in your discussion every week so look out for mr. Argetta's weekly update video uh, that's it guys other than that enjoy the class I hope you have a good time I hope you uh, find the value that I try to put into my classes I'm excited to have you and to get to know you um, so let's try to develop an online uh, you know connection here so take care we'll see you soon we'll see you in the next video